Uh, I am going to re react to this live because it was requested of me. I have not watched it. Apparently, Rakeda got into a um, a stream with his old friend Uncivil Law, who is the last Rakeda friend still around, and um, Rakeda apparently embarrassed him continuously throughout this discussion. And this part in particular was requested that I watch it blind and react. So this is Rakeda Law talking to Uncivil Law. Um, and the title of this clip is, What the Hell is Going On at Denny Denny's? The worst part is, is if you called the IRS right now and got a senior agent on the phone and went through your entire return with them, they probably couldn't tell you if you complied either. Yeah. That's and that's 100 insane. True. That's 100% true. It's like yeah, a cop at a Denny's. Yeah. He just doesn't know if he ordered the right thing. What the hell kind of analogy is that? Have you ever been to Denny's with a cop, Kurt? I I suppose I have, but I haven't really noticed them struggling about whether or not what the order is, especially. The next time I appreciate that he's asked a very specific question. Have you ever been with a cop at a Denny's? And he says, yes, I have. That's kind of astronomically unlikely to happen. I guess he's an attorney, so it's a bit more common than for the majority of people. But have you, chat? I want to press one in chat. If you've been to Denny's with a cop. I'm here at Denny's with a cop, and he orders. So are you sure you know what you just ordered? Just ask him. They don't. What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean with that? I thought you said. I think you maybe haven't been to Denny's with a cop. There's one person that says yes, unironically, too. And then I've received about five plus, maybe ten. Oh, my. Now it's pouring. These people are fucking lying. The OGs who got their ones in early, I believe. Maybe five people out of this audience have been to a Denny's with a cop. I mean, I guess it, it, it would make sense if you it's someone in your family. Like your brother is a cop and you guys like hang out after shifts and shit. Or you're at a Denny's coincidentally and he's like, hey, you know, are, are you like on, on beat? Because cops can like go to Denny's like when they're on, on duty, right? Because at that point you're just protecting the Denny's. And if honestly, depending on the time of the day, a cop protecting the Denny's is probably a good idea. I remember in um, Pensacola... There was a Waffle House right next to the street where all the drunk people were. And at night, it was always, like, packed with, like, really fucked up black people. And there would almost always be a cop in the parking lot just chilling, usually drinking coffee or something and playing on his computer on the dashboard. But it would always be there. So I can imagine if you do know a cop, you could be at a Denny's. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still thrown off by that question. You, you think that cops have a particularly difficult time Remembering what they ordered? At I didn't Denny's? say remembering what they ordered. I said understanding what they're ordering at Denny's. And you could have stopped at particularly difficult time. Are you saying that cops have a particularly difficult time? Yes. Okay. I have no idea. If there is a joke in here, it has gone way past me. So I have no idea. What There's no about. joke here, Kurt. Have, what, okay. What I, I, what I really appreciate about this guy is that Rakeda said something extremely stupid. I, he's trying to make a parallel by saying cops don't know what they order at Denny's, which is on its face nonsense. But instead of just being like, ha-ha, and letting that flow off, Kurt has decided to become as confrontational as possible. He has allowed seconds of dead air. He's shaking his head in disbelief. He's saying, I don't know what you're talking about. He's trying to get him to explain the joke, knowing that there is no possible explanation for this joke. And he's just allowing it to sit as uncomfortably as possible between them in a state of disbelief. Instead of just being like, yeah, whatever, and continuing the conversation with the IRS. He is, he is being as obtuse as he's reasonably capable of being. The last time you went to a Denny's? I usually prefer to go to Waffle House or IHOP. Denny's would be like my third choice. Right. So when was the last time you went, Kurt? It's been a while. It's been a while. You didn't recognize Stained earlier, but now you're quoting them. How how much is a while? Like two years, three years, four years? Sure. Last time you went to Denny's, were you sure what you ordered? 
I was pretty confident, yes. Were you confident that your waiter knew what you ordered? Seeing as they gave me what I ordered, yes. <laughs> but before it came out, it was Schrodinger's order, right? You're like, moons over my hammy, that's what I ordered. And you're like, but I don't know if I'm going to get moons over my hammy or if I'm going to get a weird, like, eggs benedict with a bacon piece shoved through it and, uh, and like, one piece of toast half eaten from the cat. You don't know because it's Denny's. Nobody knows a Denny's, Kurt. Okay. I hate Denny's. <laughs> I, I would agree that it's not one of my favorite places to eat, hence why I'd prefer to eat at a Waffle House or an IHOP or a Cracker Barrel. Why would you prefer to eat at a Waffle House, an IHOP, or a Cracker Barrel over Denny's? This is, this is basically this conversation. This is basically, Kurt is the guy with the sandwich, and um, Ricardo is the funny man. All the niggas in America are in Africa. And uh, 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 this is called, I'm, I'm not funny today. I'm, I know. I'm having a hard day. I, 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 this joke sucks. It's, it's, a, it's a stupid joke. Continue the joke. Continue the joke, Ricardo. Why would that be? Because it's a better experience. Because you have no confidence that when you order at Denny's that you're going to get something that matches the quality of the thing you're expecting, right? The quality of the experience has been lackluster <laughs> at Denny's in my past experiences compared to those three. What you just said is what I just said earlier, except I inserted the word comp. Not... Being disappointed about the quality is not the same thing as being confused about guy, what I ordered. This guy's face, facial when expressions, you, trying to process Ricada's like drunk retard shit is like priceless. This guy is like seriously, I guess he has like respect for Ricada and he's like actually, he actually believes that there is a point to what's being discussed and that this isn't Ricada just being a, a, a whole brained, wet brained alcoholic. We're disappointed with the quality and what you got from Denny's. Were you confused about what you ordered? <laughs> like, I thought I was ordering something good. Turns out I was ordering slate and bullshit. Are you sure that you're still not having a fever dream? I'm 100% sure, Kurt. The okay. funny thing is, I'm much more sure of what I'm saying now than you are sure of what you would get when you order at Denny's. Uh, oh, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Real Patriots Party says for Kurt. Cops don't order to eat. They order to fill a check mark while waiting for that one call that will catapult them to sergeant. Cops are retarded like that and never go to Denny's, Kurt. Ne Bro, if there's anything worse than Ricada's stand up, it's like the 50 IQ mongoloid retards who still watch him who think that he's funny and think that they're going to like add their own joke to the mix. Like, this guy's a fucking retard. Like, he thinks that the Denny's joke is funny already. And then he's like, I got like another, I got like a follow up, like a real punchline that's going to even make this even funnier. Ever go to Denny's, Kurt? I think cops probably eat. <laughs> but they're saying they don't order. Bro, if you've ever been to Florida, you know for sure that cops eat. They order and they eat the food, but they don't order for the food. They order to create an opportunity to wait, is what they're saying. That guy must also be like a wet they brain. They order for, to fill time, These guys are so like, and him They'll are like it. on the same level. That's they know what they're, they're talking about. Uh, Kaufman, 921 says, I meant to say all four of you have a legal debate. Oh, so. Okay, that's the Ricada Denny's joke. Someone is finally pushing against his awful stand up and we'll give him a pity laugh. This is true, furry avatar swords mage. You have made a correct statement. I would have just left. <laughs> that would have been the only funnier thing that could have happened in this conversation is if Kurt just like shakes his head in disbelief and then you hear like the doop doop and his like icon is like his stream just cuts off and Ricada's recenters and gets bigger. Hey, I know this person. I know this person. Why are they over here? Look, and Alyssa is even like, oh my god, the Maddie Arch Maddie Archiver is here. I'm gonna like I'm gonna like his comment. Alright, I see. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!